I made this Star Wars LED light up sign for CNC Sunday. Let me show you how I did it. I found a Star Wars graphic that was in a .svg format, so I imported that into Easel and got it ready to print. I selected the whole logo and then I set it to a 1.5 millimeter depth and to cut right on the lines. Then I went to the material section and I selected acrylic. And this automatically selected the feed rate and I set it to a 0.5 millimeter cut depth per pass. The next step was to click on the machine and set my bit size. And I actually measured this with the calipers. It was 1.5 millimeters where it was cutting. This was a very fine bit. And from there I just clicked on the carve button and went through the steps through the menu. I had it clamped down. I chose the bit. Prep bit was proper. I had already homed it. So I clicked on raise the bit. Turn on the spindle. The spindle was spinning. So I let it start carving. Sped this up quite a bit on video here, it's time lapse, but it actually didn't take that long to cut. Each letter was cut at three layers, a 0.5, a 1.0, and then a 1.5. And it didn't really melt the plastic too much, which is typical of acrylic, so I was really happy the way it turned out. Now to make the base, I just used a scrap piece of MDF. I clamped my router in my vise, and then I cut a groove for the piece of plastic to fit into. Now this isn't probably the proper way to do it, but I do this a lot and it works really, really well. And this was just a cheap scrap piece of MDF, so it really didn't matter too much to me. As long as the cut was deep enough and straight enough, which I just set it against the plastic guide that I put on here, it was fine. And when I was done, I just banged out the loose stuff and I eventually cleaned that out with a file, but it, it looked pretty good. Now the scrap piece was actually too long. So I set it up next to the Star Wars sign and I marked where it needed to be cut. So I took it over to my miter saw and I held it down with my miter saw stick that I made on a previous film at Friday. It worked beautifully and there it was. I had my base. Now the one side of the plastic already had a taper to it. So I decided to round off that edge and then make the other side the same way. So I took it over to the sander and I sanded both sides until they were about equal and nicely rounded on top. I love the way it looked. It came out really, really good. The next step was to install the LED lighting strip. I bought a roll of this stuff and it works great, but it's really fragile. I ended up doing this two or three times because I kept breaking the wires. So I'm going to be real gentle here and just kind of fit it into the groove. And then I'm actually going to take the Star Wars sign and just push it down on top of it. Now I got a little bit of glue on the bottom of the Star Wars sign because I actually tried using hot glue to hold it in place and that was a mistake. The heat actually killed one of the LED strips. And here's the finished sign all lit up. It's got some fingerprints on it and stuff. I need to clean it up. And I put it in front of my laptop so it's easier to see. But I'm really happy the way this turned out. This was a fun project. So that's it for CNC Sunday this week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. I'll see you in two weeks for another CNC Sunday.